Ooh, dear. Um. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Nice. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go back the way I came. That way we can keep damage down to a minimum. Right, through we go. Ah, the joys of swimming. Because we have got a lot of dungeon left to explore. Right, we've essentially gone nowhere there. <laughs> And back here. Can we rest? We can. Good. Okay, we've literally spent pretty much a week in this dungeon already. But, it's all worth it. We've got what we came here for. But alas, I'm still going to explore. Because literally, there's a ton more to explore. Oh god. A wolf is not the first thing you expect to see when you open a door. Lots of goblins. Get tons of goblins. Okay, one behind me as well. Teen gold pieces got these rich goblins. Yeah, nothing usable. Nothing usable. Alrighty. Hmm. That's an elaborate statue. You know. I will admit, replaying this without any pressure on me and a lot more relaxed. I think Elder Scrolls 1 Arena, at this very early stage of my new Let's Play, I'm finding it a lot more fun and enjoyable than I previously did, when I can just relax and enjoy the experience. Because it is actually a good game, but you just need to be able to get into it. Sometimes it is hard with the atmosphere, but... It should be good. When Daggerfall, when that eventually comes around, I'll have to uh, put a lot of effort into that. Actually, let me know now, guys, in the comments. Let's play the Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. Would you like to see that? I'm thinking because I've tried doing Daggerfall before. I know I'm getting way ahead of myself here, but... Maybe Daggerfall would be a better idea to stream and record the game so I can get some more view interaction and spur on my fun and enjoyment of the game. So maybe that would be a possible idea. Let me know what you think. Because right now, I must admit, I'm already halfway there as I am recording this with OBS, which gets quality done nicely. The only thing is my mic, which I'm using. Uh, I'm using a Blue Yeti. Um, I post-process that separately on Audacity to try and get the audio quality as high as I can. Um, right. Save that. Let's go through here. Ooh, gold piles there. Not more piles of gold, damn it. Goblins will do. Ugh. Oh god. Right. No loot in here. 
Who put table in front of the door? Oh, oh shit. Okay, you guys will not have to say. <laughs> okay, retreat, slightly retreat. Actually getting quite tense, sir. But let's drop another save. I think in time my style of let's play has become more methodical as well. Which I think is important when you do a game like Arena. Especially our scrolls in general, really, I suppose. Oh hello. Oh you as soon as I heard that hit, I knew it was a Nightblade. Not a spell sword, guys, it's a Nightblade. Besides, I'm going to be okay. We've reached our maximum weight. Um, there's no buy. If we've reached our maximum carrying capacity, we might as well head back to base. Try and get you. Come on. Good. Okay, good. Good bit of healing there. It's quite realistic, though, actually, when you think about the game. In fact, you take 15 to 17 hours to heal up. A lot of time. Okay, we're in the prisons apparently. Uh, right, I'm gonna leave this bit because going off a sort of real life basis, I can't imagine I'd get much loot from the prison area. I could be making a monumental screw up here. Oh god. Ooh, what I want. Level up. I'll take it. Three points. Hmm. <sighs> Would have liked more, but strength please. Yes. Um I really want those plate greaves. Drop the that's my crap. Alright, let's equip them. Minus nine. Good. Now we just need a Kyrus. Or Curus. Some boots. Uh, some greaves. I should get quite a lot, actually. <laughs> but in time, we'll get that. Don't worry, guys. There. Those are goblins, apparently. Well, how did you all sneak up behind me? Hmm. Nothing usable. Right, let's rest. Okay, let's not. Oh, Jesus. Storm of the Orc Brigade. Wow. Right, not really wanting the dagger. Nothing useful. You were healed. Excellent. Hmm. Moving on. Whoa. Quite, um... We seem to have descended into a crawl space. What do we have down here? We 
heading for the goblin caves. Get on the floor. I hear a wolf. I don't see a lot of treasure though. I am quickly becoming disappointed with this place. I was hoping for a lot of treasure, especially seeing this is an old fortress. Where maybe actually the goblins would run off of it. Damn goblins. Always blame it on the goblins. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do know there's a lot more to explore to this place. However, you must take into consideration that we do have a full inventory. So, uh, we'll have to cut our loss for this one, sadly. But still, I've been recording for nearly 52 minutes. So let's... That's the stuff I dropped. <laughs> let's manoeuvre out of here. Though the island area that we were at does take up quite a large proportion of the map. But still, there's quite a bit of stuff all the way down around here, which is a massive shame. That's kind of why I'm trying to get my strength up so I can deal with the sheer encumbrance that I'm going to be expected to carry. Anyway, there we go. Let's head back to Rehad. And travel. I expect the queen should be pleased, and one of the best is night time. Oh, I thought it was actually day, but no, it is night. As is always the case whenever you fast travel. I don't know why. Alright, let's find a tavern then. Um. Monk. Oh god. There are a load of bones, mate. Okay, the skeletons are going down a lot more easily now. That's really reassuring. So clearly our defense is getting a lot higher, but also we're hitting more, and we're hitting harder, which is good. But we need to keep building on that, and we need to make it stronger, because the difficulty in this game ramps up heavily. And yes, I will be getting artifacts, so I will be doing some research into which one I should get. I've got a few options narrowed down, but I shall let you all know my choice in the upcoming episodes. Right. There must be... Surely there's an inn somewhere. That's what a majority of your money will go on in this game, you've got to bear in mind. Inns. You've always got to use them. Though I've never actually seen the transition between day and night in this game. It does have a nice sunset, but I haven't seen the proper transition. Um. Ah. Tavoni. Excellent! All the smells of tobacco smoke and simple foods draw you into the haunted cup from the cold autumn night. A nice little description there. Okay, barkeep. Oh no. Uh, I'm having a little problem. I hope you'll be able to solve. Freezes the business bento. That's my steps. I need to get to Balcom's General Equipment Store. And buy mid ass 30 per fire. I'd come to the swordsman hired for scorting there, but they wound up dead a half hour ago. I chopped into goblin snacks <laughs> by the Arthur Dark Society. I was going to have my contract in Borkman's General Equipment Store pay them 105 gold. That money is yours if you take their place. We'll do it. Easy money. And we'll still get a room. One day. Keep trying to use the number. Give it to me for eight. On. Thank you very much. What a handsome chap. You look just like me, really. <laughs> okay, let's rest. 
for another four hours. Gotta stop using the numpad. Go on, Shilowix, you can do it. Alright then. And we go. Okay, that was actually the exit. <laughs> Okay, where do I need to take you to? Let's look at the quest log. To Balkan's General Equipment Store. Okay. Balkan's General Equipment Store. North of here. Okay. I'm not sure if people in here tell lies, actually. Whenever they say a place is in the direction it should be, i.e. north, east, south, west, they generally tend to be right. Um, so I'm not sure what the error ratio on that is, really. But I need you, please. Where is equipment? Balcom. Okay, right, it's really far north. Jeez. It's a fancy place. The mages, Guff. Balcoms, where are you? Not who are you. Ooh, I don't care. Balcoms General Equipment Store. West. Ah, so this is. Okay, it looks like. No, nope, just a normal block of flats. <laughs> hmm. Balcons. Sorry. Could you? No, I don't want to know who you are. <laughs> Come on, Balcons. I'm surprised you all remember the directions when there's so many shops in town. Okay, let's go get somewhere. Balkans? Ah. Thank you very much. Literally right there. Okay. Go forward a bit. Come on, you can do it. Good boy. Balkans do a quick stroll. Right. And let's give this to you. Ah, uh, remarkable job. I don't know if I could have survived so long. Okay, same, the exact same thing. Thank you very much. You don't get a special discount, you don't get anything. That's it. Nice and basic. This way, you really keep side pressing this game going, really. Um, it's nothing special like Skyrim's Radiant system, but still, it's quite nice of a touch. Okay, we need to get southeast. Do, 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 do. All the way southeast. I do like the backdrops in this game, although this game is remarkably 2D compared to Dagfall and <laughs> definitely Morrowind. The backdrops in it are quite pleasant. I don't know why. All the buildings, they look the same. Um, but there's something about the backdrops that's nice. I mean, the clouds. For some reason, really strike me along with those brown mountains in the background, although they're pretty much the same everywhere. For well, one of the first sort of fully 2D graphical sort of um, adventure role playing games, I think Arena did a very good job. I mean, they got a it brilliantly in the fact that they were one of the first to say, well, why should your, you know, your blade skill level up if you should spend all the time picking locks and that? They made it so that, you know, future games that, if you spent your time picking locks, that was what leveled up. If you spent time hitting things with your blade, that's what leveled up. Compared with, I don't know, um, say, for example, Mighty Magic, 
If you just got a load of experience from killing enemies with your bow, how does that translate into a load of points put into your maze skill? Let's see what it means. It's very clever. And they did very well with the technology and the graphics at the time. It's just they got into this sort of rut with the fact that the main quest was literally go to this person, find out where they are, uh, get a quest to go to a dungeon to get a piece of artifact, take it back, they'll then give you the quest to go and get a star piece, then go to another person, do a quest with them, go back, get the location for a star piece, and so on. You have to do that eight times, I think. <coughs> Sorry. Eight times, which does get a bit repetitive, I suppose. But still, here we go. You have recovered the parchment. I hope you put a gold fag into an early grave as well. Still, I'll complete my end of the bargain. Queen Blue Banker motions to a courtier, who respectfully bows and brings forward a pen. Staring intently at the parchment, the Queen takes a few moments and then describes the location of Banglair somewhere in the province of Hammerfell onto your map. That's the tree all. So, we now have our orders. And we know where Fang Lair is, so we can get the first piece of the staff. Which will be awesome. However, we shall do that in our next part of the Elder Scrolls 1 Arena. I'll leave you with this screenshot of this guy here. Well guys, it's been fun. I've been Shellabix, and when I next come back, we will go to Fang Lair after selling up all our equipment, of course. Um, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Um, dislike it if you didn't. And tell me why you didn't like it and how I can improve. And please, I hope to see you in the next part. Take care, guys. Have a great day.